I'm sitting here now with head coach Mark Tatro. Coach, in the last four games, you guys have outscored your opponents 73 to 26. What's been going right? Um, I, I, I think basically, you know, after the first part of the season with um, you know these really, really, you know, top-notch teams, um, we had a talk and we said, listen, we have to sh share the ball more and you know worked a little bit harder and I, I think they responded really well and yeah we've been putting up a lot of great goals lately what did you see in this game that you liked in particular um i'd say that everyone was able to play we our offense again shared the ball i don't know how many people you know scored but i am sure there's a ton of different people and then defensively uh, you know one of our goals of the game was to shut them down you know they're scoring they only scored three goals so we're extremely happy with that you know, all four goalies played. They played, you know, really well. So I'm really pleased with that. So, um, yeah, a lot of uh, underclassmen playing out there, and some of them even scored today. How important is that to team chemistry? It, it's harder? great. You know, th when we play those harder teams at the beginning of the year, they don't see very much time on the field. So, you know, when, when we have opportunities, we definitely take advantage of that and give them the opportunity to showcase their skills and to grow as players. So, you know, for me, it, it's really exciting to see them play and see what they can do under a little bit of pressure. All right, Coach, thank you so much. Thank you. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. This is your ticket to the NCAA tournament. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com, the home of college sports. The Keene State College Athletic Department and the Owls Media Network would like to thank our community partners. Bulldog Design, get it local, get it Bulldog. CNW Services, an industry leader in facility service capabilities. Engelberth Construction, we build relationships for life, celebrating over 50 years of service. The Office of Eli Thayer and Edward Jones. Keene Auto Body, your collision specialist since 1928. The Melanson Company, commercial and residential roofing since 1932 and the New Hampshire Army National Guard. Visit nationalguard.com slash NH. And that's going to be a wrap on today's game with a final score of 19-3. The Owls were able to get a nice LEC win today. The next game they will play will be at Vermont State Castleton on April 17th at 7 p.m. And the next game they'll play at home is April 20th, next Saturday at 1 p.m. against Plymouth State. That is going to be Senior Day, so be sure to join us then. I'm J.J. LeBlanc, joining with Logan Peranto. Have a great rest of your night. Target has it. Ten seconds left. Got to get a shot off. Oh, and they lose the ball. Quiet has it. Four seconds left. Three seconds left. Oh my! God. Oh man! Behind the back. And they call it showtime. Macarini <laughs> caught it in his one motion. Went behind the head. It puts it into essentially the empty net because Cohen came off his line. Well, I don't think that Cohen really expected that someone was just going to bust out a move like that. I don't blame him. You have been watching a Keene State Athletics broadcast on the Owls Media Network. Please tune in to our next broadcast and thank you for watching.